Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a singles match set for one fall. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first from Sinaloa, Mexico, being coming to the ring by Dan Miller of Royalties International. He is the morning star, Rudy Garza. Well, one thing about New Texas Pro Wrestling, me and Kiefer Bartek may not agree on everything, but New Texas Pro has a tendency to be a logic pad for many upcoming talent, not just in the state of Texas, but all over the, all over this great country. Rudy Garza being one of them. Cut our very cool music. Cut our very cool music. Thank you. You know, you know, when I started Royal International and recruited Rudy Garza. I did it with the intent of redefining the main event. And I knew we would face a lot of adversity along the way. I knew that it would upset the management. I knew that it would upset the wrestlers. But, but, I didn't think in a million years that our biggest challenge so far would be the blind, fast-counting, stupid referees. So tonight, tonight we're here to make a statement in front of you, in front of all the referees in the back, in front of you, and beat the piss out of your favorite ref, Isaac Morales. Introducing his opponent, Isaac Morales! You know what? Dan Miller said a lot in the ring right now, and you know, Rudy Garza does have a lot of great potential, as long as he stays clear of the supreme as with his sports entertainment, Max Heights. Now, Ted, run this down to me. How, how did we get here exactly? Well, Isaac Morales coming up through the Texas Contender Series put on by New Texas Pro Wrestling and the Premier Wrestling Federation in the last Thursday of every month here at the Houston Premier Arena. Making a name for himself through that. Obviously, Isaac Morales, a referee we have seen here many times here at New Texas Pro Wrestling. Looking to transition into in-ring competition. Man, that's, that's one tough transition to make, you know. Referees tend to have a long career span. <laughs> Isaac, Isaac Morales, you know, some habits are really tough to break. Checking referee Killian for, for, for any weapons. You know, just to give, just to give further backstory, you know, Isaac was a senior official for Reality of Wrestling right up the road in Texas City. Some even say he was the greatest referee of all time. 
Is that the end of that story? I thought you were telling. I thought you were going to say more. I mean, yeah, there's more I can say. You know, he leads classes at Reality Wrestling, and I I'm just, I'm just amazed. You know, he's very bold, taking the stripes off or some tights. You know, uh, yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. I mean, uh, hey, Rike Gilmore, manager to the stars, very bad storyteller. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm good at my main job. Okay. That's all that yeah, matters. That, that's, that, that's it. We're, we're good at our main job. That's, that's it. <laughs> Little jaw jack in between Rudy Garza, Isaac Morales. Calling double tie up. Rudy Garza, oh my God. Waist lock on Morales. Beautiful takedown to the smaller of the opponents. Rike. Oh, oh. schoolboy. Look at there. Oh, Isaac Morales trying to end things early. That man been doing some studying. Oh, <laughs> Ricky Steamboat like arm drag. And another one. Oh, my God. Oh, the drop kick. <laughs> drop kick. That boy got hops. Let's go, Isaac. Come on. There you go. Get you some. Do it for the non wrestlers. I mean, I, I know you're a wrestler now, but do it for the non wrestlers. Hey. Hey, man, look, I don't know if your manager's going to tell you, but you should really focus over there, buddy. Now they're doing some strategizing. Dan Miller, Rudy Garza right here in front of commentary. Man, I like this Isaac. You know, as a referee, he had a hell of a lot of fire, and he's brought that over to his wrestling as well. And you know, Rick, I'm glad you pointed that out. As a referee, he had a lot of fire. As a referee, he knew that referee Killian was going to start that 10 count. He knew. Man, the slowest 10 count in 10 count history. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure what elementary school Killian went to, but uh, at least he can count to 10. I hope it wasn't in Houston. Rudy Garza back up on the apron. You know, people are booing Rudy Garza right now, but that's smart strategy. You know, the guy, he, Isaac came in here with a lot of fire. Rudy's trying to put that out. Oh, he's going for them three Whoa. amigos. Isaac Morales catching him, though, I think. No. Nope. He done pissed this man off. Taking the time to gloat. See, Rudy Garza, he got outside the ring, consulted with his management, Dan Miller. Walked around, catched his breath. Using every last bit of that count by the referee. You know what, Dan Miller's done a pretty good job with Rudy Garza. From an agent to a manager, I respect that. Now, Rike, as the manager of Max Heights, can you wait, tell wait, me? Wait, 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 wait. The supreme athlete of sports entertainment, main event Max Heights. Say that. As the manager to the supreme athlete of main event Max Heights. I'm not doing the intro right now. Can we just, can, can we just work, can we just work together on this? No. You don't just address him as Max Heights. You okay. gotta say the whole thing. Okay, as, as a manager, period, can you tell us, give, give us a little insight, what is going on in Dan Miller's mindset on, on the outside of the ring right now? He's hoping this guy wins because when Rudy Garza shows up, Dan Miller gets paid. Oh. If Rudy Garza loses, Dan Miller's gonna get paid, but not the amount of money that he wants. That's not, what's at stake for a manager. Not gonna get that winner's purse you're talking about. Exactly. Rudy Garza laying in those shots to the face of Isaac Morales. See, wins matter. Not just to the wrestlers, but to management, especially. Oh, snap neck breaker <laughs> by Rudy Garza. Now, Enrique, I could be mistaken. It looks like Isaac Morales might be bleeding from the mouth a little bit. I bet he would. I mean, he embarrassed the hell out of Rudy Garza early on, you know? Arm drags, drop kicks, trying to get the referee to count faster, hell. If it was me, I'd punch him in the mouth too and make him bleed. Isaac Morales trying to fight off. Fight out of the hold of Rudy Garza. Now, Rudy Garza, he needs to go ahead and put this fire out right now. This boy is cooking. Oh, man. Whoa! Beautiful sequence by Isaac Morales. 
And Miller on the outside, sweating Woo! up the storm. Kick out! Ah, oh, referee's got to oh, do a better God. job. Rudy's right shoulder was up at one from this vantage point. Uh-oh. Dan, you better coach him up. This crowd is soundly behind Isaac. And Rudy is in trouble right now. Ooh. Rudy Garza able to dump Isaac Morales on that top rope. There you go. At this point, Rudy should go ahead and just put him away. Rudy oh. Garza flying. There you go. Good job. Good stuff. The winner of this match, Rudy Garza. As a manager, plan, strategize, execute all that good stuff. Uh. Oh, come on. What do you mean, come on? This guy came into this match with a rally. Oh, God. So, there you go. Whoop his ass. Rudy Garza and Dan Miller of Royalties International now laying into Isaac Morales. There's the Mysterious Q. Mysterious Q coming to the he aid. He always poking his nose in somebody else's business. But now Dan Miller's got to answer to Q. But that is not a question that he oh. asked. Oh! Rudy Garza now charging. Oh. Cue Cutter! Shouldn't he be getting prepared for high odds match and not interrupting these guys' great moment? They're in the process of whooping his ass and he just decided to jump in their business. Mysterious Q shaking the hand of Isaac Morales. Man, get the hell out of the ring. He lost. What are these people clapping for? You think people were clapping when the Cowboys lost last weekend? Hey, Isaac, I don't know if you're aware, but you still lost. <laughs> 